in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Softer than a kit. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. The governor's shy of this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the... They are bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran. Not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong. Through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you the most I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. 
She knows this vault, but now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Rider, ship's Definitely. fixed up and ready to fly. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jol has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jol? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect a remnant. Now we're talking. We've 
recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. <laughs>